Good day, folks. Um, this is in part two of acid um, base reaction, which is a neutralization reaction. I'm going to look at the different types of acid base reaction. Um, um, yeah. Now, the first one that we're going to look at, it's going to be a metal um, with an acid. When you react an acid with a metal, um, it's going to produce a salt. When we talk about the salt, we're talking about an ionic compound. An ionic compound. An ionic compound, it's, it's a metal with a non-metal. And the byproduct, it's going to be the hydrogen gas all the time. Let's take an example. Let's take a zinc as a metal, react with an acid, which is the hydrochloric acid. What will be the salt that we will produce there? Let's look at the zinc. Zinc, it's one of the transitional metals. It's going to have the charge, the two plus charge. And then um, the acid is going to donate its proton. It's going to be H plus. And the, 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 the conjugated base of that acid, it's going to be Cl minus. So now what's going to happen? This zinc will be attracted to that ion of the HCl, which is the conjugate base. And it will form what? It will form ZnCl2. Where does the, where the two come from? This The zinc exchange its ion, uh, that two with the chlorine. And then the chlorine exchange that ion with the zinc. So there's a one day. And then there will be hydrogen. This hydrogen... Uh, it's going to be a diatomic all the time. Let's take a second one. Second example, let's use... Um, now, let's say it's an aluminium. React with the nitric acid. Nitric acid. And then what's going to happen there? We're going to have a salt, um, just like that, and the hydrogen gas. <clears throat> now, let's look at the aluminium. The aluminium is in group 3. It's going to have a 3 plus charge. And then this nitric acid is going to donate to that proton. It's going to be H plus. And then there will be that nitric ion there. That nitric ion. Um, same here, this aluminium is going to be attracted to that nitric uh, nitrate ion, and then they're going to exchange their ions, so it's going to be aluminium, um, there will be a 1, um, the ratio, and then the, nit the nitrate, it's going to be NO3, and then it's going to have that 3, I'm going to put it in bracket, it's going to be a aluminium nitrate. And then there's this hydrogen, this hydrogen is what? It's going to be a diatomic, it's going to be a gas all the time the hydrogen gas is like that and we should make sure that our equations are balanced to balance these equations let's look at the first one I forgot to balance it it's a zinc one zinc and one zinc and one hydrogen and two hydrogens how about we put two there and then that means there'll be two hydrogen in the reactants and the two hydrogen in the product let's look at the cl the chlorine two chlorine and two chlorine and that equation <laughs> balance now let's look at this one um uh, and this one let's use a different pen different color um you have one aluminium one aluminium and one hydrogen and two hydrogen there um that means um, you have to balance the hydrogens. Now, look, if I put two there for hydrogens, there will be two hydrogens and two hydrogens. But the aluminiums are not going to be balanced. If you look at, no, not the aluminium, the nitrate. If you look at the nitrate, it's two nitrate and there are three nitrates there. So that means we have to remove that three there. We have to remove that three there, that two. So what are we going to do? How about we put six here and we put three? Uh, the reason for that, we want to balance the hydrogens and the nitrates as well. Now, if you look at the hydrogens, it's 6 and it's 3 times 2, it's 6. And then the nitrate on this side, it's 6 and the nitrate here, it's 3. So it's easy to make these three nitrates as uh, as 6 by multiplying by 2 there. That changes the aluminium as well. The aluminium, there are two aluminiums. That means on this side, we have to put 2 there. That equation is balanced now. The two aluminiums, 6 hydrogens, it's 6 nitrates. Okay, that's the equation. Uh, now, let's look at the second one. Let's look at the second one, um, the second type of reaction. Let's look at the metal hydroxide plus acid. It produces the salt and water. I've already spoken about the salt and we know what is water. So the metal hydroxide, let's take, the hydroxide is OH minus, guys. Um, let's look at the metal hydroxide. Let's look, let's take the, let's say it's a magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide, we react, let's say we react with the sulfuric acid. And then it's going to be the salt. Guys, we need to be careful here. There's an exchange of ions uh, with this. So we know magnesium is in group 2. It's going to be Mg2+. Plus. And then the, the OH, um, it's 2 OH minus. The OH, there are two of them. It's one of the polyatomic ion. And then this sulfuric acid, it's going to take out those protons. It's going to be two protons because it's two. It's going to be two hydrogens ion. And plus SO4. 2 minus. That's another polyatomic ion. Now, there's an exchangement of, of ions there. This magnesium will be attracted to that SO4 2 minus, the sulfate ion. And then this OH and this hydrogen will form uh, water. That means it's going to be two water molecules. So when these two, the magnesium and sulfate, are attracted, it's going to be Mg um, SO4 magnesium sulfate. Um, it's going to form, and the ratio is going to be 2 is to 2. That will make 1 is to 1 there. And then um, the water, as I've mentioned, this will form water, but two uh, molecules of water. So it's, it's going to be what? Water there. Now the equation, it needs to be balanced. 
um, so there'll be two water there. So it's magnesium and one magnesium and the OH, there's no OH on the side, so we're going to look at each um, element there. It's two oxygen and we're not going to include this oxygen in SO4 because there's another SO4 there. So it's two oxygen and on this side, how many oxygen? Two oxygen. And how many hydrogens? It's two hydrogens because there's two there. And there's another two hydrogens there that makes four. And how many hydrogens there? It's four hydrogens. So the SO4, one SO4, one SO4. And that equation is what? Is balanced. Now let's take, um, let's say lithium. Let's take um, lithium hydroxide. Lithium hydroxide is that plus acid. Let's take a different acid. Now let's take a phosphoric acid. Um, uh, yeah. So it's going to be um, the exchangement of ions. Even the lithium is in group one, it's going to be Li plus, and the OH, it's going to be OH minus. And they are bonded, if you look at that, they are bonded by the ratio of one is to one. So it's going to one plus and one minus there. Right, so we have three protons there, it's going to be H3, H3, H plus. And the PO4, and the PO4, it's three minus. Because there are three protons there, it's going to be three minus there. Remember that. Now, um, there's an exchangement of ions. So this lithium ion is going to be attracted to the... Um, to the phosphate ion so that will make the ratio is one one is to three so they will change they will exchange the ratio so it's going to be li3 po4 po4 what one so the exchange the one will go to a phosphate ion and the three will go to a lithium um, you don't need to put the bracket if it's one there you can just remove the bracket and then water and then this oh and this oxygen this oh and this hydrogen will be bonded and it will make um, will make um, the water the water so it will be a uh, three water molecules how do you know there's three hydrogens so this three hydrogens need to be bonded with three oh that will make three water molecules so that's a guide for your balance equation there will be three there so let's look at the balance equation let's use another pen so one lithium three lithium so let's put three there and then um let's look at the the oxygen so we have three oxygens and we're not going to involve this oxygen because it's po4 and there's another po4 so there are three oxygens and here they are what three oxygens uh, with that three and hydrogens three hydrogens plus three hydrogens that make six and then the hydrogens here are what a six and the equation is what is balanced because there's one po4 and then one po4 okay let's go to another one let's go to another one another equation that we're going to look at here um it's going to be um it's going to be the metal oxide metal oxide guys another thing that i need to remind you this metal hydroxide is a what is a base and this uh metal plus acid it's an acid base reaction and the metal oxide that we're going to look at now it's a what is a base and the metal carbonate that we're going to look at is a base and the metal carbonate is a base ammonia is a base okay let's look at this one metal oxide it's self-explanatory it's a metal bonded with an um, bonded with the oxygen let's take um let's say which metal are we going to use let's say aluminium aluminium oxide aluminium oxide bonds with an acid let's take a different acid now let's take an acid the carbonic acid let's take the carbonic acid um, um we know the product will be salt and water now even here there will be an exchangement of ions the aluminium aluminium is in group three uh, it's in group three and how many aluminiums there are two aluminiums and then the oxygen the oxygen there are three oxygen the oxygen is in group six it's going to be two minus and then there are two protons uh, we're going to say two protons um and then the carbonate the carbonate it's co3 um what will be the charge there since there are two protons there it's going to be two minus right there's an exchangement of ions there and this aluminium will be attracted um, this aluminium ion will be attracted with that carbonate ion. Um, it will be attracted with that carbonate ion. So what's going to happen? It's going to be aluminium, aluminium, and then this two will go to will be a ratio of aluminium. Will be two aluminium, and then this three will go to a carbonate. So let's put the bracket. It's going to be CO three, um, three, right? Now, um, now it's going to be plus what? Plus water. This will make water, right? This will make water. And uh, three oxygens, three oxygens requires how many, how many water molecules? It requires six water molecules. So we already have two. There's two hydrogen molecules. It's for one oxygen. I hope you get what I'm saying there. So it's going to be six water molecules, six water molecules. Okay, let's look at the equation of its balance. We have two aluminium, two aluminium. And the carbonate, 
um, the carbonate it's still there and it's still there so we're going to look at the carbonate um, as a whole not in, in each element and then oxygens we have three oxygens and then how many oxygens do we have here we have six oxygens now let's fix the oxygens now to fix the oxygens we have three and we have six how about we put two there then if we put two there that changes the aluminiums so that changes the aluminiums our aluminiums it's going to be six it's going to be four and then our aluminium there it's two and then if we put two there that makes what four four for both sides let's look at the oxygen oxygen is going to be six and the oxygen is six already six there now um let's look at the hydrogens now when we look at the hydrogens our hydrogens here it's 12 hydrogens right it's 12 hydrogens and uh, yeah we have two so we'll times by six there so if we times by six it makes our hydrogens to be 12 and how hydrogens 12 and then let's look at the carbonate carbonate we have six carbonate and we have six carbonate there so that equation is banana. Let's look at the metal carbonate and acid reacts with an acid and gives you salt, water, and carbon dioxide. Let's take um let's take the, the calcium carbonate. Reacts um let's say it reacts with hydrochloric acid. And then what's going to happen? There will be split of ions there. For an ion exchange, the calcium it's in group two and the carbonate it's two minus it's a polyatomic ion and the HCl there will be that proton and that conjugate base. Now there will be an exchangement of ions. So this will bond to that and form the calcium chloride. There will be a calcium chloride that will be formed between um, the calcium and chlorine. There will be an attraction there. And plus, and uh, the oxygen here will go here, the O2 minus, and form what? Water. And there will be, if the oxygen has been released there to an oxygen, to a hydrogen, and it will be left with the carbon dioxide all the time. Um, when the metal carbonate bonds with an acid it will give you the salt water carbon dioxide let's take the second one let's take um the potassium carbonate um potassium carbonate let's bond it with now with the uh, nitric acid so what's going to happen here um there will be a k plus the potassium it's in group one but there are two of them and the carbonate which is the polyatomic ion and this proton plus this nitrate um, um, so there will be an ion exchange between this potassium ion and the nitrate. So it will be K uh, and O3, um, potassium nitrate, that's the salt. And uh, there will be a carbon dioxide from this. And uh, that oxygen that remains there, um, that oxygen will bond with the hydrogen and will make what? Water there all the time. Um, let's look at the metal um, bicarbonate. So the metal bicarbonate, let's look at sodium bicarbonate carbonate sodium bicarbonate let's say with an hcl um with an hcl so the product metal bicarbonate uh, plus acid gives salt water and carbon dioxide here as well so let's split into ions you have a sodium this sodium it's in group one it's going to be a plus plus hydrogen ion plus carbonate ion and this hcl would be h plus that proton and and the cl minus so what's going to happen there there will be an ion exchange the um this sodium will bond with that cl minus so it will form a table salt which is a sodium chloride and these two hydrogens will bond with one oxygen there and form what water plus carbon dioxide right um let's go to another one the the last one the last one is ammonium ammonia it's nh3 it bonds with an acid let's take an acid now um hydrogen sulfate acid and uh, um, what's going to happen there you're going to have um, you're going to have um, this acid will donate a proton there so this is this will be an NH4 plus right and and uh, um, it will be what remained there it will be HSO4 minus right let's take another one let's say NH3 with HCl so it's going to be this acid will donate um, a proton to that base so it's going to be NH4 plus which is the ammonium ion plus cl minus all right um let's take um another another acid there um nh3 um plus um let's say the carbonic acid so it will be nh4 plus plus h2 uh not to this sorry about that it's co3 minus and that's it